Oh, what's going on? Look at that. We hopped in that queue and it was seven of eight and it was just a glorious day. Glorious seven of eight day and then we started and then we got a time walk. And Stuart said, I'm going to need you to draft blue white control today. And then we picked up a time walk. So really. I love my, my Fitbit's like, it's time to move. And I'm like, dude, I literally just sat down like two minutes ago. It likes to tell you when it's time to move, but it doesn't take into account when you're moving. I'm going to take time walk. There was a lot of good cards in that pack. Oh, Grim Monolith. I do like a good Grimothy. Animate Dead's nice. Belfal Strix is nice. Grim Monolith is good, though. Grim Monolith could be anything. Oh, does it always tell you that? It's 10 minutes left in the hour. Interesting. It's 4.50. That makes total sense. Huh. Did you just stand down three minutes ago? I don't even know what that means. <laughs> I'll take Grim Monolith. I think it has the best upside. If we're like, I think Anime Dead commits us to both. Stewie likes the Strix, but it's not black. It's not blue white. Oh my god, I'm getting a lot of mixed signals here. Uh, Spara's headquarters is oh the one ring. Oh yeah, we're just taking the one ring here for sure. That's a nice third pick one ring. That seems like an easy, an easy choice. If Reprieve comes back, that would be cool. If Spara's headquarters come back, I would, I would be okay with that. This pack's pretty meh. Displacer Kitten is nice. It can actually reset the one ring. It can untap Grim Monolith. Yeah, we're going to take Kitten here. There's a lot of kind of neat interactions with Displacer Kitten. What do we got? Cathar Commando. Steel Seraph. Not terrible. We don't have any white cards yet, though, so we definitely don't need to be white, per se. Other than, you know, Louis, Little Stewie wanted it. But then Little Stewie wanted a Strix, too, so it's really kind of all over the place. Collective Brutality is fine. This is an interesting... This is not a very good pack. Might just be Tireless Tracker. Tireless Tracker is pretty decent. Yeah, it's probably one of the better cards in this pack. <laughs> they Disco Stew doesn't advertise. Oh, there's an Emrakul. That's fascinating. There's a Chrome Host Seed Shark, which I like a lot. God, what can we do with an Emrakul? You can channel it. You can show and tell it, and you can through the breach it, and you can sneak attack it. And you can shallow grave it. That's pretty much it. I think we're not going to take it this time. I think we're going to take, like, Seed Shark. And with Tireless Tracker and Seed Shark, we have two very good uh, artifact creation engines. Lauren of the Third Pass good, too, but we're not white yet. So I don't mind a Besaju. Corpse Dance. You can. That's that's a thing you can do with an Emrakul. Winds of Abandon is good. I think it's just Besaju here. I'll take a Besaju. Hmm. I like a Battle Sphere. That guy seems good. That's a good thing to do with the Grim Monolith. Yeah, let's take Battle Sphere. Sure. Stone Forge and Thespian Stage. Interesting. I think Stoneforge... We already passed Batter Skull. Might come back, though. I think Stoneforge is just worse without Cauldre Complete and without the Sword Cycle. I think if you're going to cut one of the living uh, living weapons, I think you cut Batter Skull instead. I'm going to take Stoneforge. I think it's better than the other cards here. And if we do get... Eh, Prismatic Ending is interesting. Yeah, Prismatic Ending's pretty good. I'm also hoping the Sparrow's Headquarters comes back, but it might be too late for that, actually. I'll take Wrath of God. 
It's nice having Wrath and then having a bunch of Incubate tokens. Yep, all right. Did not return, unfortunately. Okay, Garrick. Uh, don't care about life from the loan. We'll take all of an old oddity. Yeah, all right, so that... Put Mastery and Wrath of God and ending in the sideboard. Why would I, I, I'm not going to main deck this Wrath with no white sources so far and no other good white cards. Batterskull did not come back. Spara's headquarters did not come back, which was the, the land I was kind of hoping for because it would really tie this Bant deck together. There's a Halfling, Scalding Tarn. Uh, Fable is very good. Eternal Witness is good with Time Walk. I just want Scalding Tarn because I feel like we're going to want to fix our mana eventually. Tendrils, Pivot in the Storm. Solid. Solid choice. What could go wrong? Oh, a Hull Breacher? That, that can go right. We're definitely taking big hulls. Hull it up. Hull and oats. He can, just, he can go all day. It's like Captain America. Talarian Academy. That's kind of exactly what we wanted with all the Tireless Tracker and Chrome Host Seed Shark tokens. That's kind of what I was looking for. So that's actually pretty sweet. Definitely taking a Talarian Academy. Good times. Ooh, what do we got here? Verdant Catacombs. Also nice. Fairy Mastermind is fine. Thieving Skydiver is pretty decent. I might just want Catacombs. I mean, it's good with Tireless Dryer. Yeah, let's just take Catacombs. I don't think anything in this pack is just better than an on-color on color fetch land. I mean, especially if we get Trop or Breeding Pool. Then we're living the dream. Yeah, we got Kit and Cat. <laughs> also, let's look, the things we can blink in this deck are pretty sweet. Mirror Battlesphere, One Ring... We can reset Garrick, untap Monolith. White, blue, I don't hate it. Gruel Turf, no. Fire Ice, no. Proving Ground, no. Wasteland is a maybe. I'm pretty sure we've already passed Ramunap Excavator. Questing Beast is just a good, a good man. <coughs> Talisman lets us play Talisman on two, Tireless Tracker on three, then land. I think I'm just taking Talisman here. There's a Reanimate, which is really late. Coveted Jewel is also amazing with Displacer Kitten. I have yet to play Coveted Jewel because I'm quite cowardly when it comes to giving my opponent the Coveted Jewel. However, if you can keep blinking it with Displacer Kitten, Lil Stewie, this one's for Lil Stewie. I would take Sail into the West. I think Sylvan Library is a bit better here. Also Metamorph. Especially with two fetch lands, just being able to like shuffle away the junk on top of your library is nice. Sylvan Library for Lil Stewie. 
this wing of the Sylvan Library was built for little Stewie, whose heart was larger than us all. Oh wow, what do we got here? Kappa Cannoneer. This seems like a Kappa Cannoneer deck for sure. Yeah, let's take Kappa Cannoneer. We have a ton of artifacts. We can improvise them. We can make a bunch of tokens and that's a good that's a good finisher. That's a good fat turtle. Fat turtle, check in and see. Okay. This deck's looking pretty sweet. I'm appreciating everything. Time walk, one ring, coveted jewel. Also, if we can get a Garrick down early on turn three, then we can go turn four Coveted Jewel. That would be cool. And then we can time walk off of it, then untap everything. Blink it with our Displacer Kitten. Torsten is kind of cool. I guess it's just Tri-Builder here, right? We don't have really the means, except for we have Talisman, right? That's kind of it, though. We make clues and we make incubator tokens. We don't make treasures. Coveted Jewel also casts it, though. Is the upside of Torsten better than... Yeah, I'm taking the Torsten. I think it's just better than... Sakura Tri-Builder. Plus, you can just blink Torsten. Come on, that's just good. Yeah, I'll take a Nissa. This is probably like, let's put her in the sixth spot. Well, none of these are that exciting. Temeshi is fine, I guess. Don't really care about hard evidence. Austin's getting a little angry. All right, so Turf can go, Rallyer can go, Tameshi can go for now. Not super sold on this guy, but we have some space. Ah, Thicket? Sure. Thicket's playable. What a glorious day. All right, this last pack's got to pull it together a little bit. We got five lands, so we're at 16 playables. We need about seven cards. I guess if we are playing white, ending is really good, so. We'd also love a blue-green land. Or any lands that we can search for. Right? Am I right? Yeah, Double White Wrath, just not uh, not doing it for me. I'm going to be honest with you, little Stewie. Hollow Fountain is great. Prismatic Omen. I think I really just want land that I can fetch with Scalding Tarn. And it, does get, it does get us closer to casting that Wrath. Dak Faden would be the pick if we had any red sources whatsoever. We have Gruel Turf and Scalding Tarn. I don't think that's good enough. This pack's not terrible. Archon is fantastic. I don't see us casting that. I guess we do have Coveted Jewel. <laughs> Mox Opal is interesting. I don't think we're Mox Opaling though. Yeah, I'm just taking the Hollowed Fountain here. <sighs> Wooded Foothills. That's interesting. Are we at an upheaval deck? That's fascinating. Shell Dock is also interesting. We have quite a few good hits off of a Shell Dock. 
I feel like it's Sheldock here, and then if Upheaval comes back, that would be cool. If Wooded Foothills or Growth Chamber comes back, I'll, I'll take those as well. <sighs> yeah, Teferi's pretty good. I kind of like Sheldock with these, like, seven big, 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 bigs. And I bet, I mean, Teferi might come back. Oh, Treachery? Yeah, we're definitely taking a Treachery here. That seems A-OK. -okay. Temple Garden would be nice on the wheel. Oh, and Jace the Mind Sculptor. Okay, now we're getting some play. Oh, Mystic Confluence, too. Oh, boy. Yeah, I guess we're taking Jason. This feels like a deck that wants to tap out for things. Time Spiral, when we already have Hull Breacher. <sighs> Tinker is also interesting, especially with Tireless Tracker and Chromo Seed Shark. I mean, we can get Coveted Jewel, Kappa Cannoneer, or Battlefield Spatter Battle. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop talking for just a second. <laughs> uh... Yeah, we're just taking Time Spiral though. I think it works w very well with our, with our game plan so far. Uh, Courser seems great. Sure, I'll take a Courser. I don't think we're gonna get our. Oh, a Triome! Perfect, Forest. And Island. That's all we wanted. That's all we wanted. That's actually fantastic. <laughs> okay, so someone in... Wow, this is a late mind twist as well. Someone in chat, or in uh, YouTube comments, was like, Shurakai Genesis Engine drinking game when? And, uh... Yeah, probably not now, but... You know. I'm still gonna take it. Wandering Emperor, Omen, Jite, Subtlety. We'll take Subtlety. Actually, do we have any Nature's? Nature's Claim might be might be better. I don't think we have anything that does that other than Nissa, which is like, yeah, let's take Nature's Claim. We only need one more playable at this point. You go over here. Why were you in the... I can take out probably probably Oddity. I don't think Oddity's making the cut here. Wow, Teferi, Upheaval, and Growth Chamber came back. Are we an Upheaval deck? We just have Monolith and Talisman. I don't think we're an Upheaval deck. I will take Teferi, though. That one's for a little Stewie. Okay, now we need one playable. <laughs> And that's if we don't want to play like Oddity or I don't I still don't think we're Wrathing. Man, if this is a Spar's headquarters, fantastic. Temple Garden came back. Okay, great. I mean it's getting more tempting with the more lands. We have Hollow Fountain, Razor Ridge Thicket, Tarn. Catacomb, Temple Garden. That's five. It's five white sources. I'm just going to take Fatal Push here. Endurance is actually pretty sweet this late. Basalt Monolith is interesting. I think Endurance is a little bit better. We don't have any Graveyard uh, hate, <laughs> let's say. Wrath is a guaranteed four for one or your money back. That's a good, that's a good rate. I'll take a Savai Triome. Scape Shift last pick, that's kind of funny. This seems decent. Playing all the lands, got the Tefri back. I would say Nissa can be a five drop, so she's a little bit cheaper. Prismatic is probably like a three or four. Also, Triome is great for Prismatic ending because it gives us access to a fourth color.
Does Tameshi have any interactions? Return only neutral, return artifact or enchantment with mana value X or less. <sighs> Not really. This deck looks pretty sweet. We'll definitely board in Wrath if we need it, but I think we're gonna start without doing that. Sort by color. You're concerned about Telerian Academy, really? That's interesting. Because both Tireless Tracker and Chrome Host Seed Shark make tokens for it. Uh, you know, and then we have lots of things. I mean, it's, it's definitely not like a turn one or two play, but. All right, blue sources. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's go up to 10 for blue. Uh, green, we have one, two, three, four. Can we get a green with Scalding Turn? Yes, because we have Triome, right? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is nine. So this is nine and then 10, plus we have Talisman, so 11. And then for white, we have one, two, three, Scalding Turn. Yeah, we can get Hollowed Fountain, right? And then we can get Temple Garden for the other one. That's pretty good. One, two, three, four, five. So that's seven. That seems really good. All right, well, let's do one of these jobbies. And we're gonna do a little, do a little one of these. And away we go. Okie dokie, we're on the little plale, plale whale. Oh, this is something. Yeah, I'll keep this. No green, but turn two Grimothy. Let's see what we hit off this guy. Oh, oh, ooh. Oh, do we have a way to shuffle? Oh. I think I want the coveted jewel under here. These two are only good together. So if Hull Breacher's on the bottom, if we don't have a way to shuffle, it's not great. If we have Coveted Jewel, we can still find Displacer Kitten. And plus we just pop this out and get three free mana, which is nice. I mean, Time Spiral kind of does the same thing, but it, you know, you you pay two and then tap all your mana, then untap six. So you're, you're, you're netting a lot in that, in that situation. But I don't want them to draw seven. So that's really where I'm at. And it might be more difficult to get Hull Breacher, so... Oh, an exploration. Oh, that's good. I like exploration with bounce lands. I, I didn't like exploration a ton in the last iteration, but I think with bounce lands, they really kind of shine. Oh, that's nice. Um, so I think ideally we'd get Zagoth Triome because I do want green. And that's the only green I can get. I can get a hollowed fountain, but that's not exciting. So I think we're just going to do this. If we Grim Monolith here, next turn we have five mana. Six mana with Academy. Seven mana with Academy. So we can actually go Ring Time Walk. That seems okay. One ring also really accelerates us into uh, 
Sheldock Isle pretty pretty effectively. Oh, they took two. We got four mana here. That's a good one. That is a good one. Did they not play a second land? No, I think they played both of these, right? Yes, okay. Oh, there's a kitty cat. So how does this work? We have six mana without it. So we can play pay four to kitty cat. Play time walk. Untap this, but then we only have one. Man. Is that what does that do? That can't be better than like one ring and time walk, right? I guess Kitty Cat's time walk into untapping one ring like one ring next turn is still pretty good. And then we get to untap monolith again, but then we don't have anything to do with that. So this could be four for Displacer Kitten. We pay two for Time Walk. It untaps Monolith. We tap Monolith, but we only have three. I mean, Ring doesn't bounce Monolith unless Cat's in play, and Cat's not going to be in play because we can't cast both. And I think you mean blinks, not bounces. Bounces is kind of confusing because <laughs> that's not what it's doing. Um, yeah, I think it's just ring into time walk. Let's play ring. That feels correct. Until your next turn. Actually, maybe we just pass and then play both of these on the same turn. Razor Verge Thicket. Because otherwise we lose the protection. I wish I didn't play Academy first now. I wish I Scalding Tarned. <sighs> so we have three. We could play Time Walk, and then we get to untap Ring. I think it's just kitten. I think it's kitten time walk next turn. That feels more correct. Man, I'm not giving you lands whenever you giving you four life whenever you just play a land is insane. Oh, crop rotation, the wasteland for, for Talarian Academy and or Sheldock Isle that could be very good. Strip mine, fantastic. Which one is it? Fantastic. Yeah, I wish we didn't play. Now I'm wishing we played the Goth Triumph. <sighs> I think it would have been much better.
Okay, another bounce land. I guess we take four. Is it? Is it? It's players and planeswalkers, right? Opponent each planeswalker, sure. Board wipe looking pretty good right now. Oh, great! Now Karwitz on the on the board wipe train. Yeah, that's good. Attack me when I have protection from everything. That'll do. Well, taking away that two mana that we had was pretty rough. But actually, we probably we wouldn't have been able to do both this turn, huh? Sylvan Library and Prismatic Ending. We can Prismatic Ending for two. I mean, Wrath, Wrath looks good, but not having any lands looks worse. Could have also seen an argument of playing Thicket this turn and then getting like Hollowed Fountain next turn. But I think I do want two green, <laughs> considering we have Courser. There's Hollowed Fountain, okay. So that is four mana. It also gives us three mana for Prismatic Ending. Um, we can draw three, and then we're at 21 cards, which is close, but not close enough. I think we just go land Displacer Kitten. I mean, let's see what we hit first, I guess. Garrick. I think we just played Beseju into Garrick, untap two, Sylvan Library, maybe? And then Garrick dies. Man, eh, it doesn't seem great. I like Buseju killing Golos. Is it non-creature? It just says artifact enchantment or non-basic land, right? That's pretty good. So that's two. Sylvan Library could be the other two. We don't have another green. Our mana base is definitely kind of restrictive in this in this game. So white, blue, green for three. One, two, three, four, five, six. If they can add a black and a red they can do it I'm not sure that they will have both could also just kill the exploration which is fine yeah I might just have to play this I, I agree with that I think we just have to play kitten here So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We only have to discard one thing. I'm pretty sure it's Razor Verge Thicket. Weird cracking it on the end step because you want to maximize the number of lands you get off of Omnath. I guess if you want an untapped land. All right, well... Yeah, Omnath and Golos. Two great tastes that taste great together. So we're taking seven here. They just need one black or one red, and then they're Gucci. That was not it. Interesting. That is a red source. 
Oh yeah, the second land is great for Golos. That that also does it. So I guess they're gonna Golos here. This deck is the deck is looking sweet. Bring to light. Excavator and Island. That's not that good. Bring to light um doesn't do anything. Which is kind of good for us. This is interesting because next turn we can untap, we can activate Sheldock Isle to get Coveted Jewel. Then we can add three and play something for two to blink the jewel to draw three more. Yeah, that was just a way to get that in the graveyard, I guess. Excavator's fine. You've played two lands this turn, so that's fine. Oh, uh, it does, but they have to actually do that. So, just kind of have to hope we survive. This is all fine. Take three. Not great, but that's okay. We still alive. 20 cards left, huh? We're going to have a lot of cards in our hand. Endurance. <laughs> That's actually not terrible. Especially if we just pitch it to cast it. Um, this whenever you cast a non-creature spell. Okay. Okie dokers. Well, let's see what we can do, I guess. So green, slow the library, blink the jewel. There's Hull Breacher. So we'll play this guy. How much mana can we net here? I'd like to play, I'd like to play Teferi. Tuck one of their things. So what do we have? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten mana right now. Time spiral is going to untap a billion. So I think we do need a white source here. One, two, three, four, five, six. We can go one, two, all breacher. Yeah, we're definitely spiraling in breacher, but I, I want to make, I want to like play Teferi first, to be quite honest. Uh, so I think we're just going to play this. Yes. Uh, white mana. Activate, add blue. Get rid of this guy for one. Done. Blink the jewel. So we played a land this turn. We have three, four, five. Would love to play. Te oh, Teferi's going to blink something though, right? So we can go one, two, three, and white. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Play Teferi with all the colorless. Blink. Jewel again. Um, 
Tuck. Probably Omnath. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Add blue, time spiral. Uh, we'll blink or monolith here because I don't want to draw the cards before we actually. Uh, yes, that's fine. And now we have infinite treasures um, to make colored mana forever. So I'm going to target you. We're going to play uh, white. Blue. Green. Not, not double green. Black and red. X is currently four. That's correct, but less than or equal number of colors. Yeah, sure. Blink. Now we'll blink the jewel again. I I feel like I am basically playing Storm. That's correct. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Thank you. Blink the jewel again. We're just going to keep a blinking a jewel, huh? We do have a time walk in our deck again. So let's keep that in mind. Uh, what do we want to do now? Bounce a guy? Sure. Bounce this guy. We play to land. I guess we can just play Talisman here. Oh, we have a bunch of mana floating, which is fine. Uh, we're gonna hold control, cast this, three green. Okay. Where are my time walks at? Uh, let's steal this guy, I guess. So we're going to go one, two, three, four. We have to be careful not to deck ourselves, I guess. We do need to blink the one ring, yes. But we're not done yet. There's a cannoneer. Which feels good. I'm really just trying to find a... I think I'm good at drawing cards at this point. Clarion Academy. <laughs> that is a good one. Um... Can we bounce the one ring with anything, do we do we think? Or do we just have to blink it, I guess? I guess we just have to blink it. Uh for Gary. Is this good? Who knows? One, two, three. Four, five, six. Yeah, I think we're just good here. Well, we might as well get in there with this guy, right? That was a lot of things that I did. I have no idea if it was good. Feels okay. Uh, let's untap two lands, I guess. 
Because next turn that lets us ultimate. So they have one card. Uh, you must discard. Sure, we'll go blue, green. Fetch land, fetch land. And now we can still keep up endurance if we really need to. I don't know. I think they just wanted to A, play it out to see what we had and B, like... I mean, it just wastes a ton of our time. So it makes sense that they didn't, but... Strip mine. <laughs> Sounds good. Excavator. Sounds good. Yep, sure. I'm going to assume... Garrick wins us the game here. Oh, there's a time walk on top? Well, if he don't. Put on top. Put on top. This is actually hard to keep track of. I have no idea what's going on right now. Fingers crossed that was lethal. Holy Jesus. <laughs> Holy Lord. I want to bring in Wrath of God for the, for the people at home. Oh boy, that was something. Anything else worth coming in? Nature's Claim hits Explore and Golos, actually. That's not terrible. I'm a person at all. Yeah, this card, this card is really good in certain decks. It's very impressive. Uh, everything else was very good. Also, this is why I left Hullbreacher and, and Time... Uh, Time spiral in the deck, so I could just find them eventually. But maybe cut Torsten. That guy's pretty decent, though. I do like endurance when they have like a ramming up excavator in their deck. Is it Genesis Engine? God, that feels bad. We'll cut Torsten. We don't have a ton of creatures for him to hit anyway. And I think I'm just I'll just be fine with 41. <laughs> Double green into Monolith this time. And then this will just play a turn three Nissa. Yeah, alright, what the hell? I also love forgetting to check the mail and being like, oh, there's some cool stuff in here. But I'm pretty religious about A, checking the mail, and B, like, I'm literally refreshing tracking things right now, so. This is a big brain deck for sure. I was hoping to draft something easy, but here we go. Ooh, that's interesting. Okay. Okay.
Good old Grimothy. Also, Hull Breacher into Time Spiral. That's a combo last time I checked. If they kill our Grim Monolith, I'm going to be real sad because we don't have a great path to victory at that point. That's fine. Oh, God. Really? Just a regular forest, huh? Land? Beautiful. So now we can do one of these jobbies. And then kill your little guy. Does turn three Nissa killing your Dryad just get there? That's the question. Rammy nap. Get back strip mine. Tireless tracker. Verdant catacomb. Sounds good. Sylvan library. Wow, that's actually really good. Without having access to lands right now, that's probably as good as we were expecting. I will definitely pay four in the future to get some lands. All of my cards deal me four damage. A little stewy ones, so you scrunch your face a bit. Oh, wow. Well, that was cool. Well, that is unfortunate. Wow. Fucking amazing. That's interesting. Well, I guess we hull breach here. I mean, if they play ramming up, I'm probably just conceding. Having flame slash for our like one token just to kill our Nissa is really good. Followed up by having exactly Kathar Commando. Like, okay. More lands. Jesus. Wow, two fast lands off the top. Fantastic. And then a crop rotation to get something else. That seems good. Really? <laughs> really? Okay. Yep. One mana shy. One mana shy from everything. That's unfortunate. So they have rotation. <sighs> they can crack clues. That would be sweet. Once upon a time, sure. Seems good. They use their white source though, which is interesting.
Oh, I don't think we scoop this one. Any land, and like we get to play one ring, draw a card. Uh, I mean, I think we're, I think we're just definitely still in this. Oh, they just got a white source now. I ordered some croffles. Is that, those coffee waffles? Croissant waffles? That sounds like it would make more sense, especially since you don't drink coffee. Yep. So they draw Territorial Kavu, but oh, they don't draw. See, this is what I mean. Like, we just hit this. Now we can actually untap Grim Monolith. Wait, no, this is double blue now. We just get to Time Spiral next turn. One, two, three, four, five. Well, we're one shy of time spiraling. But we do get to untap Monolith, so we are no longer shy of time spiraling. Oh, wow, that was so good. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty juicy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mana total. So we can actually go three, four, one ring. Gives us three mana, three, four, five, six. Now we have protection next turn. Seven treasures, they get no cards. They're drawing a flame slash, one, two, three. Do you know how much mana Talarian Academy generates when you have seven extra treasures? Remember when Stuart was like, you should just concede. <laughs> you little rascal. This guy. Blink. Grim Monolith for now. I'm like, this deck does stuff, buddy. Let's draw a card. Wrath of God. <laughs> I mean, they get to start their turn with Flame Slash and we, if we Wrath. That's fascinating. We could also Wrath and then just start playing more things like Kappa Cannoneer. That's phenomenal. Um, what is this? 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. This is a lot of mana. 1, 2, 3... Four, five, six, seven. Oh, you need you need an extra green, don't you? We also still have time walk in the deck, so if we can time walk here, we're just destroying everything. I knew you were trouble when you walked in. Shame on you, knew her. Blank this jewel. Do, 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 do. Now I'm lying on the do, do, do. Ah, Time walk. Trouble, trouble, trouble. Uh, let's. I don't think I want to Wrath just yet. It's got to be like the last thing we do, right? We're running out of spells, unfortunately. And I don't want them to have these guys. I think we just bounce Hull Breacher. And then replay. Oh, they're going to draw Flame Slash, though. So they're just going to be able to kill our Hull Breacher and then start drawing with the clues. So we have to find a way to win here with like six cards. Three. Reach forest you control. Or we can just play a million guys. Now we have to like, it has to be Hull Breacher, right? Return Hull Breacher. And then we have to wrath and then like just do some nonsense. That's gotta be the plan. Three, 
Do we have a land that we can play? Do we get a land right here? I think we do. No, we played our land. Okay. Well. Let's go white. Sacrifice wrath. Blink this guy. Really just want to hit time walk here. Create a token. And now we can just play like we have four minutes, so we're kind of kind of in a crunch here. I think we just play Kava Cannoneer. Uh one, two, three, four, five, six. And now we have like two very lethal threats here. And we're just gonna discard Verdant. Temple, Zagoth, this guy. No, not this guy. I guess we can't undo that. Shell Dock's too late. Planes, Courser, Chrome Host. Is that good? I have no idea. So they have just Flame Slash in hand. If they try to ca if they try to draw a card, we're just gonna pull Breacher and make a token. And then they can flame slash the Hullbreacher, but like we get another token. This guy triggers again. And now I'm pretty sure we're just. Yep, figured they'd do that. That seems fine. So now they get to draw one card. Sure. And we have 14 power on board plus Nissa, which we can ultimate. For plus three, plus three each. Yeah, this game feels like it's over. This is the longest game in history, right? Thank you for 20. Woo! <laughs> Remember when Stuart was like, you, you should just scoop this one. Buddy, let me tell you about... Let me tell you about Hall Breacher and... Uh, Talarian Academy and Time Spiral. Woo, that was a, a mental drain. All right. I feel like you just played Shaharazad. Yeah, I mean that's a that's a fair feeling. That's not too far off. I mean, I definitely drew a lot of cards, you know. Oh god, what is this? Oh, welder. This guy. Okay, our man is looking good this I, I would love a a talisman or like a grim monolith here would be great. Okay. It's fine. Totally fine. Totally fine. No problems at all. Chrome host seed shark. Three drop. Great. 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 A little concerned with, uh, with goblin welder. Little weldy, if you will. Okay, that's fine. That's just a regular two-two with double strike. That's a that's a mox opal. A mopal, if you will. Oh man, welder and dragon engine is a sick combo. Coveted jewel also a sick combo. I have double two fours. Which one's better? Probably this guy. Thank you. Their ATOG avatar indicated tomfoolery. Man, now I wish I played this one. I know a drunk. Thank you for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. Really appreciate you. Did I miss another sub up here? Might have. Baron von Vaderham. Really appreciate the resub, buddy.
They might just not have a way to get artifacts into the graveyard though, which is fine. Like I'll just take four here. I think we play kitten first. It'd be nice if they just didn't have anything good. Oh, it looks like they might not have anything good. Oh, and a tarn on top? Hot shit. Well, I'm just gonna go get a basic island here. Oh, and a Jace the Mind Sculptor on the top. Does anything get us closer to Coveted Jewel next turn? Not really, so we'll just play Kitten, I think. But then if we play one ring, the only thing we can blink, yeah, I guess we're playing one ring first. get in there so we know we're drawing jace there's no reason to draw it during our turn it just gives them more information oh give me that b sphere Talisman, huh? Well, shoots my goots. So we're going to play at least two cards, which puts us down to six. Well, we're not hitting lands here, but we are hitting treachery. So I think we're just taking this guy. <laughs> Well, that was pretty cool. So we can go Talisman into Displacer Kitten, which next turn gives us Jewel. All right, we'll see if that does anything. Fingers crossed we don't get blown out somehow. Now we're at a point where Jace just blinking. Now we have things to blink. Like, we can blink Treachery. We can play, like, a one-mana spell to blink Treachery to get something else. Just to untap five. Well, they keep playing just regular lands, which is totally fine. Oh, no. My plan. That's unfortunate. They knew. They were like, he's going to do some, this guy's going to do some shit. Oh, a shell dock on the top. Sure, let's play that for free. And a time walk on the top. It's not there anymore. Well, we'll put the time walk under there. Um, so we can actually play Teferi, draw a card, and then untap the shell dock to take another turn. Let's do that. This guy's just going in the trash can.
Do you ever just not even activate the one ring, you know? Because you just don't need it. Uh, I do have a stop on my end step, right? Sure looks like I do. Resolve this. Take an extra turn, take an extra turn. Like we would have just had to discard a shit ton of cards anyway. Oh, there's a, there's what's known as a time spiral. Play this guy off the top. There's a Talarian Academy too. So what is this, four, five, six damage? Can we deal more than that? I don't think so. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Play a little Julie. Mm, I guess we're just passing here. One, two, three, four, five. No, we want to keep up Endurance, but we also have two mana left over. So I guess we can play Grimothy. Actually, we can play Ending on your Talisman. And then just get, I guess we'll just pass here. Keep up Endurance. I don't think it's, I don't think it's relevant, but it just wins us the game. Uh, do I have anything? No, just these two is fine. We got rid of three cards. Island, Grim. And Seed Shark, I guess. This game feels really way ahead for us. Really? What makes you say that? <laughs> oh, you know, Nature's Claim definitely coming in. I'm not sure if we need a Wrath of God. Take out Torsten again. That guy seems like a fine cut. This deck seems good. I don't know. You know, maybe. Always be wrathing. <laughs> Not this time. Mm. Okay. We got a little Hully Bee. Oh, look at this little shitter. That guy's going to be a pain in the ass. Don't like that. Just the forest. Okay, I'm okay with it. <sighs> Patchwork automaton, sure. All right, so we have one ring mana next turn. We also have hull breacher mana next turn. Don't be mere battle sphere. Yeah, that's fine. You can't cast that guy unless you drop a lotus. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious! Wow. Hey man, can't even be mad at that. Jesus, that's hilarious. Wow. What a fucking hit, dude. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 11, 12, So we're dead if we don't block. I guess it's one ring time. I think Kitten is the most broken of those cards. We one ringing. We ringing. One ringing in the new year, huh? Oh boy. That's fucking, that's insane, dude. 
They hit Mirror Battle Sphere and they had Mishra's Workshop in hand. Wow. What do you do? Oh, okay. All right. We're thriving. I do want to hit lands here. Okay, I accept. Kill Battle Sphere, that keeps us alive. Next turn, we can activate this and play Kitten, too. Okay. Activate the ring, play Kitten, Nature's Claim, untap Monolith. Let's time walk here. Definitely the play. Do we need the mana? I'm kidding. No, we actually need the cheap spell more than we need the mana. <sighs> Talarian Academy would be nice. Hollowed Fountain. Okay. Okay. Boast Jew. So we put this guy out, get untap monolith, then we have five mana. Does that get us anywhere? It's not terrible, right? We're not dead, and that's the important thing. Give me my little kitty cat. Give me that kitty cat. Kitty cats. Kitty cats. Give me that kitty cat. It's blank Grimothy. Could also blink the one ring to draw one more card, but we don't get protection. That is worth noting. I mean, killing this guy actually puts us in a much better position here. Um, we still got a land drop, so we have three, four. I feel like my opponents are going to have PTSD, right? I'm just a little I'm just a little guy. One, two, three, four, five. We have six mana now. But no green. So we can play shark and keep up hull breacher. No, we have we don't have enough colorless to do that. Yes, we do. No, we don't. We can just play both. Is that correct? We can play cannoneer. Three, four, five, six. I mean that's just a five five. Oh, we get a land too. That's good to know. Um, we're only like a minute behind, minute and a half behind, so that's good. Definitely want to play a green source. Probably don't want to die to do it, though. And by die, I mean take damage. Um, this guy is Ward 4. He's probably just the best blocker we have. That feels correct. Their mana base isn't great right now. 4... Five. And then we can just play Temple Garden tapped. I'm going to counter this. No. Okay. Oh, that's not the one we wanted. Ah, I hit the wrong button. All right. We're just going to pass here with seven cards. That felt like a decent turn. Like, if they attack with everything, we take five. They don't have a ton of mana outside of artifact mana. If they have chain lightning, they just kill kitten, which kind of sucks, but we still have one ring.
Fury Evoked. Well, that is a way to kill a kitten, I guess. <laughs> four, da four damage straight up to the cat. And they got rid of Goblin Welder, sure. That's, that's it, man. We'll take six here and block Ragavan. Oh, they're just going to, like, blow us out somehow? Wow, that's brutal. Man. That's insane. Yeah, all right. I mean, it is what it is. This is eight. This is Xaxes. Hilarious. Wow, that's insane. Yep. Uh, we'll keep this. Come on, no turn one Ragavan. Great. Feeling good. So we can go Tracker into Verdant... Burden literally just gets forest, I think. That guy's fine. Oh, that's even better. Let's do that. That guy survives a chain lightning. Well, I wish I wasn't drawing my third white source, but you know what? It is what it is. You're just attacking? That's fascinating. You know what? If you want a two for one for this, that's totally fine. Yeah, this is fine. We already have Tracker to draw a bunch of cards. Yep. I want to crack this now in case they want to respond to me cracking it. And this also lets us keep up Nature's Claim. Man, another another removal spell, huh? Okie dokie. Hitting prismatic, sure, that's fine. They can get a clue if they'd like. Oh, they did not like, okay. Oh, all right, cool. Keep my clues. Well, it'll be better when the Telerian Academy comes along. Three, four. Like, I'll be honest, I don't want to play a Displacer Kitten and let them just get another hit off this. I'd kind of rather just see if we can draw into something here that's better. That is better. That will be better next turn. So they're going to get another hit here. Don't love it. Hey, I'm here to hang out with my friend Vintage Cube. Are they home? No, Vintage Cube went out. He's with his other friends today. 
I don't have an answer for Ragavan. What a little shit burger. Coveted jewel. Oh, for fuck's sake. Don't have a land. Don't just don't have it. Okay, it's not a land. Oh, thank. Oh god, but they still I they still just took one of my main most exciting wind conditions away. Four mana. Doretti spaghetti. <laughs> oh, if they activate Welder to try to get Portal out, that's pretty cool, because then we can just kill the... Oh, this was terrible. They just do it in response, don't they? Yeah, why did I do that? Oh, God. What a stupid idiot. <laughs> well, I mean, to be fair, I guess they don't have anything to get back. No, we do, though. Okay, yeah, that was terrible. I don't know what I was thinking. That was so bad. I No one told me to... No one, no one even warned me. There's just like 60 people in here. Not one person said anything. Target creature card from a graveyard. Wow, I was like, I can just kill it instead. That was terrible. Wondering in Sylvan Library, does that do anything for us? Probably. We don't have any artifacts, so we can't they can't swap one ring for us. Man. All right. Your your go. Next turn we'll have seven mana. This is Displacer and Hull Breacher. Get a tireless tracker. Yeah, that's what I figured. Wow, man. I can't believe I, I can't believe I did that. The plan was to wait until they activate it. And then I was just like, I'll do it now, because that'll just get it off the board, and then they can't do it, and then they just respond. I can't. Jesus. What a numbskull. Sure. I mean, we're not out yet, but it's just like... They have no cards in hand, okay. Richard's good against Palantir. Take one. Time walk. That's very good. Yes. Into Grim Monolith. Into Hull Breacher seems very good. One. Um. Put on top. Okay, this is gonna be the this is the this is the turn to, to do it. Three, four kitten. My little kitten McMitten. One, two, do a little walk. Blink this guy. Play Breacherson. Play Sheldock as our land. Put Time Spiral underneath. 
And that is probably going to end the game for us. I, I have to assume that everything we can do here is going to be utterly busted. Oh, we're definitely keeping Talarian Academy as well. Uh, top, top, play the land. <laughs> so let's get one, two, three, four. So one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six. I should have played Nissa first, I think. But it's okay because we just got her back. And now we have basically infinite mana. <laughs> so that's cool. Let's draw two with the one ring. Oh, time walk again. Okay. Well, I guess that's gonna do it. So we can go. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, one, two, three, four, five, six. Untap this guy. Make a guy. Uh, blink Nissa. One, two, three, four, five. Jace. Blink Nissa. Oh, we just win. <laughs> then we would have time walked, attack you for like 10,000 damage. Wow, this deck is pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. Okay. Well, that was something. All right, round three. And I just decided to replace Torsten in the main deck with Nature's Claim. <sighs> this hand is actually pretty good if we hit one land. And we're on the draw. Yeah, I'm going to keep this hand. Grim Monolith actually says, go ahead, keep it. You deserve it. After all, why shouldn't I keep it? I still do not think Double White Wrath is a main... Oh, that's actually fine. Oh, no, you take Grim Monolith. It's not fine. It's terrible. This hand sucks now. That's terrible. Well, yep, that's a good one. You, you chose correctly. Sagoth Triome. Gets us back in. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay, Tumble Garden. I accept. <laughs> Scoop it up. God, you're such a easy you're such a quitter, man. You quit so quickly. So it's like, I eh, got a 1-1. One, one. You got 14 cards in hand. You can probably never make it. You better scoop it up. We have zero to one mana value cards. We have prismatic lens. Yeah, man. Click me on my upkeep. Don't do it in my draw step. Do it in my upkeep. That way, whatever I draw this turn, you don't get to see. That's perfect. Just let me keep all this. This hand's terrible. You're not gonna, you're not gonna take anything out of here. Yeah, good choice. Okay. Yeah, now we're just going to the next game. Well, that was a thing, wasn't it? This is how it's going to end. This is how it will end. I will play first. I will keep this hand. This hand seems really good. Fingers crossed they don't just have the thing that they need to do the thing. Just dodge that turn one nonsense. Uh, 
All right, we're gonna go this into this, and then maybe just this guy, because this guy on three. Come the fuck, oh, thank God. Thank God it was just Ancestral Recall. <laughs> what a thing to say, man. If they had like Spell Pierce, I would have just cried. Yeah, that's annoying, but fine, I guess. Like, we get whatever you don't take here. Yeah, that's fine. Just, like, turn turn three Kappa Cannon here is pretty busted. And you have to discard? Amateur hour. Oh, nature's claim. Not to be confused with Kature's lame, you know? This can only get green sources at this juncture, so. All right, five, five with ward four. <laughs> I don't know how you're gonna deal with that guy, but I'm sure you'll find a way. Just like life in Jurassic Park, you know? Life uh, uh, finds a way. In real life, too. Yeah, that's fair. Oh, I see. Wonderful. So, wait, how much is this? Two, three, four, five. Well, we're back in business, boys. <laughs> Man, I would love to be able to get my one ring back. How can we take in a man's one ring, you know? Okay. That That's good. That's going to be good next turn when you want to bounce my guy. Oh, I like a shell dock. Oh, man. Um, it's got to be Nissa, right? Full value Nissa under that under that bish. I mean, I'm kind of tempted to just let him bounce because that's like their whole turn, and then we get to untap Grim Monolith. And if we kill Boseju, or if we if we use Boseju, like they get a free card, they get to draw, or they get to draw a card. Yeah, I like I knew I knew someone was gonna copy my copy Kappa Cannoneer, so I actually was like, I'm gonna need all the mana I can get here. I just think with eight creatures, Torsten isn't at his best. I guess you're gonna hit a lot of lands, but I'd rather have a card that triggers Displacer Kitten, because that's clearly like my win condition here, you know? You know what I'm saying? Oh, endurance. Oh, they're just going to take it. I'm just going to bounce EOT. EOT, if you will. Well, guess we'll play a little Verdi. Oh, Vendillion click. 
I guess we're just playing endurance here, right? Oh, they targeted themselves. Okay. And I was kind of hoping they'd forget that the uh, that endurance had reach, you know. Oh God, come on! Uh. I mean, this is eight damage. Do they go to one? Fascinating. Okay. Oh, they don't know about the Bosage They didn't see it. We have all the mana in the world. They're just taking it. They're targeting my turtle. Okay. Sounds good. I'll replay turtle. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we'll just say one, two, three, four, five, six to keep up with Seiju. And then we still get to untap. Grim Monolith. Yeah, I mean, if they try to attack or block with this next turn, we just get to besage you it, which is fine. If they double blocked, I would have definitely besaged the, the factory. Interesting. Are they gonna tinker this? Oh, that's interesting. Yep, they are gonna tinker that. Okay, don't be portal to Phyrexia, I guess. That's fine. Oh, interesting. I would have attacked with the Cavern Bat because then you gain a life and go to seven. So if I hit an artifact... Uh, basic one. Yeah, fair. Search for basic line type. Sure. One, two, three, four. Ha <laughs> ha, it's an artifact. <laughs> Wonderful. All right, let's do that. Three, four, five. So now unblockable in six, six. Just activate while I'm here because I don't want to waste the mana. Would have drawn two more mana sources. <laughs> Okie dokie. Well... Finally got to cast it, and it, it made all the difference. I wonder if Fatal Push is good enough. What do we have? We have Triome, Verdant Catacomb, and Scalding Tarn for black, plus Coveted Jewel if we ever get there. Eh, it's a little iffy. 
Could also just play Urborg, but that seems bad. <laughs> oh, this hand is bad against them. They're decently disruptive. That's a keeper, I think. Garrick ramps into this. I think we're shipping Jace here. I think maybe Nature's Claim. They do have Tinker, though. I don't really want to get stuck without that. Kappa Cannoneer could be very good if we can Garrick into the Cannoneer. We also have Time Walk. Hmm. I think it's nature's claim. But then again, I'm just going to get boned. We do have Jace to bounce. Yeah, all right. We're going to risk it for the biscuit. I think depending on the situation, both Garrick and Jace have good uses here. I mean, just don't play the stupid bat every game. Every game, three games in a row. Jesus. So long, time walk. Give me a talisman of... of only talisman that we have. Indulgence? This is not hard. Yep, that's the one. Okay. Well, that does give us a play next turn. <sighs> Fucking eye roll. Cool. Saw zero counter spells in the first two games. Okay. Well, I'm still getting I'm still getting to pre pre uh preemptively tilted at potential counter spells. Interesting to brainstorm when you just like draw the card you put back. Sure. That is interesting. Let's make a guy. And then next turn we can play Jace, untap two, and then time walk after bouncing this guy. Sure. That doesn't really matter. Oh, well. Better call him Shinobius. Nah, it doesn't feel correct. Wow. So long, Jace. <laughs> eh, it might be Cannoneer or Kirk. Actually, yep, it's Jace. Okay. Imperial Seal. Okay, well, lots of things are happening. Oh boy, I feel like this is far closer than it should be because of these two idiots. We don't really want them getting a coveted jewel, so unless we can hit something that like prevents that from happening, I think we're gonna probably just play Cannoneer here. That's actually really interesting. One, two, three, four. I 
This keeps both planeswalkers alive. That's actually really good. I wonder what they got with Imperial Seal. Let's find out. Well, it wasn't that land, that's for sure. Oh, now you're hitting that Nissa. Hitting that Niss. Oh, they just passed the turn. Fascinating. Uh, okay. So, play Sheldock, because it's our only land here. Oh, I do like a Hull Breacher here. Oh, it's also the only thing we can <laughs> we can reasonably hit. So, yes, let's do that. Yeah, they definitely have a counter. That's true. I'm assuming it's Mana Drain. We have six mana. I mean, we have to take a risk. We have no choice. If we don't play something this turn, then we can't play something next turn either. So it's definitely what we're doing. But if they go Mana Drain into Brazen Bar, where it's pretty bad. We can't, we're not going to be able to take our time walk back. We're going to play Jace and try to bounce this, and they're going to counter the Jace with Mana Drain. Then they're also going to play Brazen Bar, where they're going to attack our Planeswalkers. Yeah, might as well, I guess. What? <laughs> uh, wait a minute. What's happening right now? That was not what I expected to happen. Oh dear. Uh that's what did they get? What? <laughs> I am very confused. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Not enough. And I guess we're definitely jacing here. Time Spiral. Well, if they play a creature, they can play this guy. We can't block it. They just get our jewel. So what do they do with this guy and this guy? Play a land, I guess. One, two, three, four, five. So we have eight mana. I guess we're just making a guy here. Uh, if we covet a jewel, it puts us to 22. I don't know how we'd actually get any closer to time to Paul Breacher. I think we have to like wait till next turn. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. I don't know what's going on here. Did they get like damnation? I mean, we have three Planeswalkers. Damnation doesn't seem like it's the best. Sure. We do have Academy. <laughs> this deck is pretty sweet. Chrome Mox, sure. Pitch bat, play that untapped. I think you're just gonna play Cityscape Leveler. 
Yeah, that's what I figured. That's an interesting choice. You got a big Nissa probably because Nissa kills your guy. It's got to be the, that's got to be correct. And then you brazen borrower the Jace. Yep, this is all. Power Stone lets us cast Coveted Jewel, and it triggers that guy, so not terrible. This guy is also 8 damage, plus if Garrick ultimates, they might be afraid of the ultimate and attack Garrick instead. Oh, they did not. Okay. I think this looks very good for us. Garrick ultimating just kills them, right? What is this, 6, 5, and 4? This is 15, 18... 21, 24, and they can block eight of it. And we can make it so they this guy's unblockable. So they can only block one guy. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is just game. Uh, so let's play the jewel. Draw three. Um, oh, we can just kill this guy, I guess. <laughs> they have no cards in hand. Yeah, let's do that, I guess. And... Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. This is... Yeah, we're just going to ultimate. Oh, got him. 3-0. What a satisfying 3-0. That, that was a deck, man. That was a long... That was a long draft. Let's open this treasure chest while we're here. We got All-Seeing Arbiter. It's probably not very good. I've never heard of it. Keldoran Royal Guard from 10th edition and a dead man's chest. Beautiful. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Be sure to subscribe on Twitch, on YouTube. Anywhere you can subscribe is a great way to support the channel. Would really appreciate it. It means a lot. I'll see you next time.